I think it was, I, I really think it was, um, I was on, this is when Instagram was just thriving. It just started, that's what it was. And I see all these photos, you know, I'm just like, bro, these moments they're capturing are beautiful. Like, yeah. I can capture moments. I see them like in my head, I sound cheesy sometimes, yeah. but it's like, you won't know until you capture it. You can show people what it looks like. I spent my whole check on a camera, a D3300. I gotta, I gotta get that out there. And it did, you know, camera, it did photo and video work, but the camera wasn't the best, but it did give me, you know, it started me up where I need to go. I started doing that and it kind of gave me that idea that like, um, I wasn't the most fashionable. I gotta get this out there. I was unibrow, big shoes, weird shirt sizes. But it was like, you know, I have to find my style. Yeah. So being around those people, they already had style. You know, and I kind of just bled off me in a sense. Like I started being around them, I'm going to their parties and stuff. And then now I'm taking pictures of like real models, you know? Yeah. And it's kind of like what like gravitated me towards going towards that realm of like, I like photography and I still do it actively now. I just kind of took a back seat because it put you in like compromised positions and then they'll be upset with you about how you feel about your compromised yeah. position. What's going on creators? I'm your co-host, Artist A. Ellen. I'm Faith Reed. And we're here with a special guest, Suichi. Good to meet you guys. Thank you for having me. Of course. That's for sure. So appreciate you being here. Sure. All right, tell the people where you're from. Bronx, New York, uh, born and raised. Uh, from, uh, Bronx, stand up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand, stand up. up. Home of the hip hop. <laughs> not that dangerous, I promise you. It's not that dangerous. <laughs> where you at in the Bronx? I'm by the sixth train in Castle Hill. All right. That, that might be, I know that's like top three. I, I, I was shaking my head yeah, on that one. Like, it's still a community. Right. It's still a, it's still a community. Yeah, 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 we're still a community. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to get into a few dope topics, but before we get into any of that, what the hell are we wearing today? This is my favorite thing to just throw on, black hats. You can, it goes with everything. I'm also wearing this uh, this Forever 21 bubble. Excuse me. It's a flight jacket, but I treat it like a bubble. I created the design on the back, and then my good friend of mine, he's a designer, he printed it on the back for me. This is a... Uh, a re a remastered or I guess a reimagined cover art for Kid Cudi that I made in school. Um, it's called Man on the Moon, uh, Part Two. And then I have the Maiden Bodega Black History Month uh, Martin Luther King sweater. All right, it has the address on it too. So if anybody wants to check them out, it's it's, it's pretty much there. Then I have the pants that match with this too. Also a Maiden Bodega. I, I love like having this boot cut feel if you guys are like from the 2000s early era when we had like you know those type of jeans and style boot cut was a a regular style to wear off you know until we started going that's lame so we started wearing tight and then we, but now we back to tight and boot cut i don't know how it happened but it happened so we made a full circle and then i have these jordans on my feet but I'm not really the most knowledgeable sneaker guy, so I don't really know what the numbers are for this, but I'm sure you guys do. I just love the colorway. The color is my favorite. And um, that's my that's what I'm doing today, you know? Um, today we keeping this simple uh plaid button down t-shirt that I'm wearing just as a jacket today. I have a Jeff Gordon um graphic tee, some cargoes from PacSun. And one of my latest pickups, the OG Jordan One High and Yellow Ochre. Today I'm wearing a corduroy uh, polo jacket, uh, nice brown tone. You can see it matches the jeans or the, what would you call these, corduroy pants, so to speak. Um, I thought I would go with a nice color palette today. Um, these are the Yeezy Power Phases. Um, Calabasas, as you can see, you know, uh, these I think were quite slept on. These are the, I think, clear brown colorway, right? Um, I'm also wearing a polo, uh, what do you call this? Bucket hat, also corduroy. You know, you see the nice little emblem there, you know, pretty nice. Um, uh, this, this colorway kind of gave me a 90s vibe. That's why I went with it. But um, other than that, plain t-shirt, you know, a little light jewelry as always, nothing too crazy. And, um, that's it. I created, tell me about the outfit you're wearing. This is from someone you know very closely. Yeah, this is from my man Tuna. This is his, 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 his pieces, it's called Made in Bodega. All right, he really owns a bodega. It is a black owned bodega. Um, it is in the Bronx. It is a place you can go to. It is also the only place that has a working payphone in the Bronx. You can go there if you are down and out, you know, in the struggle, you need to communicate to somebody, you can call them. That's the Free. No, legit, legit. Hello, hey, yeah. Uh, I'm at that place you left me. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> you know, he's not at that place you left me. I need to go get that pickup. You know, and um, he does a lot of this stuff by hand. A lot of this stuff is actually by hand. Most of his pieces, I say maybe about 85% of the things he's he's uh 
created is literally by hand in custom pieces. Mm -hmm. And if not, then he's he's um he'll go ahead and uh what's the word I'm looking for? Thrifted. He'll thrift it. Oh, thrifting. Yeah. So he does like repur repurpose. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Or like That's in dope. some cases he'll just yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, because he'll just take things, cut them up, sew them into something totally new. He'll make like widespread boot cut jeans yeah. that are like back from the Coogee days. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes. Wear, uh, used to wear like a size, uh, let me see, 38 when oh, I was supposed to be like that's, 30. That was the yeah. OD. With that's the, OD. With the overkill. With the pictures <laughs> that had the cotton on it. That's OD. Pictures was crazy. Hi. Insert. Mm. Insert. Gotta like, insert it. Let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna insert a picture. It's gonna look a little <laughs> wild, but I don't care. <laughs> it's it's right. it. Oversized, for real, for real. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what I like. Lot tween on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, so let's get into a little bit of what you do um, as a creative. So I see that you're into, um, let's start off with photography. Uh, what led you to that road into that um, field? I was, uh, I was working for this like subsidiary um, company for Google and it was meant to like um, pretty much do what Fresh Direct does. You know, people order food, we package it and they send it out with carriers. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was working in Target and you know, I kept passing by like cameras all the time. I just, you know, I, I draw, I actually draw, I draw so much I, I used to get in trouble in school. Yeah. So um, calls home from, you know, all the time and uh -huh. all this type of stuff. And I think it was, I really think it was, um, I was on, this is when Instagram was just thriving, it mm -hmm. just started, that's what it was. And I see all these photos, you know, I'm just like, bro, these moments they capture are beautiful. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. I could capture moments, I see them like, in my head, I sound cheesy sometimes, yeah. but it's like, you won't know until you capture yeah. it, you can show exactly. people what it looks like. Yeah. So I, I spent my whole check on a camera, it was a, um, a D3300, uh, D3300, I gotta, I gotta get the out there, cause. Mm -hmm. Insert. Yeah, insert the DSLR, cause you gotta see what that is. Um, and it did, you know, camera, it did photo and video work, but the camera wasn't the best, but it did give me, you know, it started me up where I need to go. So mm -hmm. I would take pictures of my coworkers, you know, they wouldn't always be aware of them. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes you want to get things natural and see yeah. what it's like. Yeah. And then from there, I started, you know, I started pricing my stuff, like maybe like $50, $30 or whatever, depending for the friends and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I got into videos and like. Did just, that come natural? Yeah, it did, it did. Cause I had to understand that, um, to even do videos, you gotta understand that everything is frame by frame. Yeah. yeah. You know, and pretty that much. means it's yeah, it's, it's pictures, you know, it's pretty much pictures in a sequence. So if you could take your own pictures, you can make your own videos, yeah. you know. And I think from there it's kinda like what like gravitated me to going towards that realm of like I like photography and I still do it actively now. I just kinda took a back seat because I became a person that uh, supported others that wanted to do photography but didn't have photographers. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And those individuals aren't always like the most uh, appreciative, you know, mm -hmm. they'll put you in like compromised positions and then they'll be upset with you about how you feel about your compromised yeah. position, yeah. you yeah. know, knowing That's well fair. that you would charge for something mm -hmm. like this, yeah. your fee. So, um, I took a backseat with that and started doing more like visual effects, like 3D, yeah. um, masking me, jumping over buildings and stuff yeah. like that. Fire, by the way. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Fire, fire, <laughs> we'll get into that. Yeah. Um, all right. So, all right. So that was the transition for you getting into more of an editing field. Yeah. Cause I seen on your Instagram, you started off with just photos. Yeah. Just photos it. of yourself. Mm -hmm. And then you went from photos of yourself to taking other people's content that you was allowed to. Yeah. From, if I'm wrong, you'll correct me. Um, that you were allowed to to edit and add some features to it. Yeah. Just to probably, from what I see, you was trying to test it out mm -hmm. to see if editing was something that you would be good at. Is that how that went? Yeah. I got, um, after Google, I, I started working at Nike, mm -hmm. and um, I met a few people in there. You know, you go to those places. At first, I'm not—I'm really not a sneaker guy. I promise you guys, I'm not a sneaker guy. I don't know how I got into <laughs> Nike. I applied, and like six months later, they said, "Hey, you want to come?" I said, "Yes." So I went. Mm -hmm. And the way Nike's built is like, um, you're not a. Don't sue me for this. I'm not on contract with you guys anymore. The way Nike operates is that when you go into the interview process orientation, you have to—you can't wear competitors. Damn, yeah, you have to take those off. Oh wow. They'll give you socks. But you got to take those off. Down to the socks? Down to the socks. They'll give you socks? They'll give you socks. Okay. If you came into the store as an employee with like Adidas on, they would make it like, you know, there's like people on the first floor. They'll come and like, yo, bro, what are you doing with these? Or they'll oh, joke and wow. stuff. Like it was always a conversation. Like whether it was cool and playful yeah. or serious, it was a conversation. Yeah. So I started doing that and it kind of gave me that idea that like, um, I wasn't the most fashionable. I got to get this out there. I was, what, in high school I was, Six three, I write, I'm six four now. Six three, still same height. But um, unibrow, big shoes, 
weird shirt sizes. You know, you know when you slim, you wear a big shirt. And it's crazy because yeah. all of those things are in right now. Oh, I promise you. Old. I promise you. But I'm not a b-boy. If I dance, <laughs> yo, I swear. If I dance, yo, if I dance, yo. that's it. Oh, I would have made it early. Goodness. But it was like, you know, I have to find my style. Yeah. So being around those people, they already had style. Huh. Yeah. You know, and I kind of just bled off me in a sense. Like I started being around them. I'm going to their parties and stuff. And then now I'm taking pictures of like real models, you mm -hmm. know? And that's what got me into doing those type of things. Now I got a friend that's like, or at the time we were really close. We'll take pictures, we'll go do shoots. I even like went to work late one time just to go take your shots, 10 pictures, bro. Like you was taking a chance. Yo, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you got to do Jobs that. Jobs don't be playing. You got to. Take a chance on yourself, man. 40 hours a week at this job or just 20 hours a week at something you want to do. Yeah. All right? That's You're a right fact. about that. You're right about that. That's a fact. So what got you into um, videography, though? Bro, effects. The effects. I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, Steve, I, I if you a nerd, yeah. I got some yeah, nerd sorry. questions for you. No, you got <laughs> some nerd questions. I'm sorry. I just hit the thing. But but I'm a nerd. At heart, like, that's like, when I was, yo, when I was younger, right? I was, this is, only a few, few of us will understand this. Uh-huh. The 64 dropped. Right? All oh, right. You got the Smash Bros. game. Smash Bros. You got a really box like set with it though. Yeah. It's a box set. I got the box set. I was I was craving to open it up. I'm fiending to touch this game. Yeah. I leave it in the cab. Oh. Getting out the car. Right? At like seven years old. And my heart just broke. But then I was so adamant about it with my mom. I needed that game. Yeah. When I got it. She did get it for me. When I got it, I spent hours on it. But it was me trying to understand the characters yeah. and what you could, you know, what you could do. Yeah. So I'm like, nah, these, these, you know, the Poom Pals and stuff like that, okay, I'm used to the games, that's cool. Now I'm going to movie theaters now more often and I'm seeing Marvel do like crazy stuff, you know, yeah. do turning it off for real. But the mm -hmm. old Hulk was yeah. terrible. Yeah, terrible. The new Hulk, that kid is like a real person. Right, right yeah. now, he can go to his house and go talk to him. Hey, bro, you want some tea? And you know, he, might, yeah. he might turn up. Like, <laughs> I don't know, you know? So I wanted, I wanted that. Like, yeah. like, it's so cool when you can go to like, you know, go outside with your friends and you just, I mean, just record the street. Yeah. yeah. You guys do what y'all want and you just implement what mm -hmm. that is, you know? Yeah. So I, I started adapting to that. I started going, you know what? Sometimes I'll be in my head about things. And a lot of, I think a lot of us as creators are in our head about things before we do it. Agree, um, totally. But I think that's also, this is when you asked me if I was nervous, I yeah. think it's also a sign of like excitement. Yeah, you know? yeah exactly. Because you yeah. know, like if you get into this and this goes the way you want, you're gonna have to push further. You yeah. know, every time you do something, you should want to go further than where you were at. Mm -hmm. So um, I took that I took that experience and started working with different people. You know, now I'm doing like music videos. Now I'm doing like uh, visual effects on the side for little things. Um, and then I go ahead and I download After Effects. I love Adobe, even though like, you know, Adobe, you guys got to figure it out because I don't know why you keep just subscriptions for life. I don't know what that's about. Okay. But come on out with the money tip, man. Just, just help all the creators we can help you guys out too. And also your page is a little wild. Just be consistent with that. Um, <laughs> Facts. Yeah, it's a little wild on that page. I'm not going to lie. Some content I was not, I was not expecting to see there, okay? <laughs> it's, it should be a content-based video effects page. You teach mm -hmm. them lessons. You don't teach them other things that's outside of that, but mm -hmm. okay. Um, I downloaded After Effects and uh, I spent 12 to 14 hours consistently, like overnight, trying my hardest to fix the problems I did and you add new focused. things. Yeah, I was yeah. watching videos and my friend was there, you know, we, mm -hmm. um, you know, we're doing recreational stuff, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. to keep, you know, just to keep the time going. But um, I always, always, I always express that piece because that 15 hours, it felt like hell, but it taught me a lot. Yeah. Now when I go and do my own videos, they don't have to be so... Uh, specific. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I have a wide range of things I can go and approach it as. I don't have to do this exactly. I could do a piece of this. I could, for example, I could take a picture of all of this, right? I could clean all of this stuff up here, like the cameras are not even there. Yeah. And we could still be here. And now you have a clean plate system where I can do other effects on. Mm -hmm. Just like on the floor, you know? And we're talking, but now it's like a explosion happening or something, you know? Yeah or a little guy dancing, or maybe one of us interviewing each other while we're really tiny. <laughs> I like that. You know, those concepts, I... is just trying those type of like things. Yeah. So that's what got me into it. Uh -huh. I want to get into film. I think that the world is leaning more towards uh, some form of visual effects and computer animation constantly. There's people mm -hmm. who are blind who are getting, you know, things done for them. People who yeah. are deaf who are getting things done for them. And people with sensory problems who, who can't even feel who yeah. are getting those type of things done for them. And it's all going through technology, yeah. you know, all of it. Even though AI is like, you know, it's, it's, it's listen, it's on the verge. You gotta, if you don't it. accept that we're gonna it's battle, it's right now, that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it helps a lot of people. Yeah.
Yeah. It does, you know? it does. And um, it's also one of those things where like great power comes great responsibility, right? Yeah. You know, if you put it in the wrong hands, then yeah, some some, some wrong things may happen. Yeah. But in the right hands, beautiful things happen, and yeah. then it, it creates a level of uh, generational like success. Mm -hmm. People don't want to just be like twerkers and dancers. Yeah. Excuse me. People don't want to be twerkers and dancers. They wanna. They want to now you want to go ahead and take that information you got and give back to the people that, you know, that, exactly. that need that. Yeah. Exactly. So I just think that's really what it is. I want my community to be able to go, yo, I love what you do. Mm -hmm. I want to do it, too. How can I do it? And I'm not I'm not Hollywood. I'll respond. I'll give mm -hmm. you tutorials. Yeah. I'll jump on Zoom with you and help you out and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, but that's where I'm at. A lot of people don't really think about that. And I think, yeah. you know, if I'm just being frank with you guys, too, because I want you to hear this, you know, mm -hmm. camera guys and stuff. Mm -hmm. but, um, I think the culture that we're in right now is too selfish, you know? People have uh, so much information and stuff that they want to hold on to yeah. that they just think about themselves. Yeah. And that don't go with you when you pass, you know? You got to give that to somebody for it to be generational. Um, so just stop thinking about yourself a little bit. I know it's hard. You go through the struggle. It's your story. I got you. I feel you. But now you're up, okay? Now you're in a place where you can give back. So you should think about doing that with your community. Stop gatekeeping. Stop mm. gatekeeping. <laughs> nah, stop facts. it. Stop it. Where you got the outfit? <laughs> Yo, I can't even swear. I can't even tell you, Rod. Why would you not? We had a talk at Mana Bodega, and one of the customers that was there, he was lit, you know, young dude, but he's like, bro, I don't even tell people where I get the stuff from. And I'm looking at him like, we, we all looking at him like, oh, no. shit, man. why would you not tell uh, your friends where you get your stuff from? That's yeah. helping the guy out that you're talking about does you a favor. And, yeah, exactly. You know, so help, help each other out, man. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm telling everybody where I'm at right now. I promise you that. Yeah. Right here, I think everybody's gonna know about this. Yeah. See? That's no what's up. Appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, no beef. You know I mean? no beef. Shout out to everybody that the future everybody's. That's yeah, the fact. Shout out to y'all. That's yeah. the fact. Yeah, yeah, because gatekeeping is a thing. It like, is. I know it is. Yeah. It's uh, I think it's getting a little deeper though. Pause. No. Oh, no, no. no, that was that was a little crazy. <laughs> man. Yeah, it's right? like getting that, deeper. Uh, that was fine. Hey, that was. Hey, listen, I almost said it twice, and then I would have had to. <laughs> when you, know you say it twice, then you be like, all right. Yeah, that was like I gotta Now hold on. It's overkill. Like. It's, Sada. You know what I'm saying? Deep, was it deeper? Yeah. So um, it's getting, it's starting to um, get into where uh, high-level fashion brands mm -hmm. are starting to be more like gatekeepers when it yeah. comes to um, consumers. Mm -hmm. Consumers are finding it where they don't want everybody wearing what they wear. Yeah. So that, in the sense of that, I understand yeah. he don't tell nobody where he get his stuff or whatever because he want to keep all that information to in him. Yeah. He yeah. don't want you to look like how he look. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I understand that part. But like information on where to find good like quality t-shirts yeah. or dope yeah. cameras, what's the best camera to use, which I will be asking. What's the <laughs> best camera to use or the best lens or whatever? That's information that you shouldn't get keep to yourself. Yeah, that should be, you know, ready for everybody to learn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause I understand you don't want people to make they may not make what you make, you know what I'm saying? But they're getting the opportunity to at least try to exactly. do what you do yeah. or even better than you. And mm -hmm. I think that's some of the fears most. They yeah. don't want people to be better than what they do. Yeah. That's, so, that's yeah. the sad part though, because it's like what it's like parents sometimes who are jealous of their kids. You know, like you mm. this your child's supposed to be the better you. Yeah. You know, you they, they're more youthful, they have your genetics, right? They have all the things that make you who you are. Mm -hmm. And they're they're supposed to be born better. Why is it that you tell your child don't do this, you can't be this? They say that Tuna Tuna made a bodega, he says the most common killer of dreams are parents. Because they'll tell you what you can't be all the time and what you should be doing with yourself. But then those kids who uh -huh. are like dancers, TikTokers. Yeah. I got a kid, I remember I worked with a kid in fifth grade, his fifth grade year. This is maybe three years ago. This, this, yo, I'm working, okay? I'm, I'm clocked in. I am clocked in making 18 an hour. Yeah. That kid is working clocked in on TikTok making thousands in my face. No. And they're telling him, yo, yo get off your phone. You just be respectful. <laughs> and I'm like, That's TikTok. you guys. But do you guys know what this kid is doing? And mind you, he's using, he's using Marvel clips. Those things could get the attention of Marvel. Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much, yeah. You know, promotion and advertisement, but yeah. they're telling him to get off your phone. Yeah. So I, it's, it's interesting because right now kids are capable of generating their own funds. They are generating yeah. their own funds. Yeah, yeah. And the, the, I think the hardest part about that really is giving them a space to do it that's safe. Because yeah. when you tell them no, they're still going to do it anyway. Yeah. But now they're not in a safe space that you can also yeah. supervise, you know? Yeah. So it gets hard. You know, I don't I, I don't condone um, blocking out the idea of people. I have people who tell me all the time, do one thing, but I'm so in love with art that it's like... It's impossible. It's impossible. When you're a creative... It's impossible. It, I, was, I was talking to you about that earlier. Was, today? That was, that was, they, no, I was with me. I was talking to her about that earlier. 
being creative is hard. Mm -hmm. Pause because our brain is like like constantly, <laughs> yeah, constantly. Too many ideas, yeah. and it's like, how much can you do in a twenty-four hour day? Mm -hmm. You know, it's you want to do it all. You want to yeah, do it I swear, all. You want to do it all. Every idea, no, leave nothing behind. As a photographer, videographer, photographer slash videographer slash, slash all the credentials. Slash 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 slash. slash, 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 slash I'm gonna put slashes like crazy. Slash. Slash. Um, as all of those things, um, what camera would you recommend for a beginner that's trying to get in any one of those fields? Yo, listen, this camera is gold. I promise you, it's less than five hundred dollars. It's four ninety nine. Probably like four seventy six. What four seventy? Yeah, four seventy. Four seventy. Four seventy. Four seventy. One time, get you quality content. All right, it gets you okay. like, and it also it's also mirrorless, so you can flip the mirror. You know the Who camera makes lens. It? Huh. Canon. Canon. Which Canon though? It's a Canon. It's a. I also use it as my um my gamer tag name. I told you I'm a nerd, so you know I uh, yeah. too. But um, it's EOS. It's a it's it's an EOS M50. They also call oh, it a Nifty M5. 50. Gotcha. Yeah, 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 and five, exactly, fire, yeah. Fire, fire, and if you yeah. carry a Nifty 50 with you, or a Pancake 24 uh, by what? I think it's 24 inch, is it 24 inch? It's a, it's, damn, what's, the, what's the, the, the diameter for it? It's 24, I know it's 24 millimeters, mm -hmm. and a 1.4, it's, it's, refer, it's referred to as a Pancake lens. Mm -hmm. But what it does is that it's a, it's a wide lens, that still captures a level of like a 50 millimeter as far as quality goes, yeah. but you can get more out of the context of what you're taking. And with the the regular, you know, the nifty 50, you just can't move. That's just yeah, yeah. Shit anywhere, you know. Yeah. So it does great with videos. It, it is a um a crop sensor on there. What that is is that like uh if you have a full frame camera, everything for the most part is full frame. It's like you would have to go to the very edge of the, of the image of a full frame camera to see like the blur and the chromatic um, aberration and stuff like that, the things that like go from red, uh, red, green, and blue and stuff like that, but it's still one of the best quality video cameras you can have, and it's it's ready to go once you get it out the box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. So I think that's 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 a camera. Like when I got that, that changed. Was a that lot your of, first yeah. camera? No, the D, the D thirty hundred was my first camera, yeah. but the Canon was my first. Like I am charging. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, here's it's gray and low lighting. Here's my card. Yeah, here's my card. I'm charging. <laughs> what would be, since that camera is about 475, yeah. 500, what would be the the uh, most most affordable camera under that price, if you know that, that you could recommend? That DSLR, that, that D3300. I have another friend of mine's, yo, he's- Canon too? You know, oh, no, it's a, no, that's a Nikon. The D3300 is oh, a it's Nikon. a Nikon? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, look, I went from Nikon to Canon to Sony. So I, it's you gotta you gotta play with the cameras to see what it is you kind of like you feel more home at. Yeah. yeah. But um, I have a friend. His name is Idris. Shout out to Idris Optics. That's my boy. Um, his we both started on the same camera, mm -hmm. and I didn't know. I met him at a um. It's called the we. It's called We Levitate. It was a. It's basically a page that dedicates their shot style to like hovering photography. Mm -hmm. Okay. So anything that you can't tell, somebody like jumped, leaned, or was thrown in the air and stuff, they get those photographies and they, they oh, okay. you know, spice them up. Okay. So we got invited. A friend of mine, that's, he danced with Cola Ray, his name is Lucky Banks, shout out Lucky Banks. Shout mm -hmm. out Lucky Banks. Um, he's one of the Cola Ray's prime, like, prime dancers, like he's mm -hmm. part of the trend to the group. And he's also like in a bunch of other music videos, but he uh, he added me to a, a group setting to do those, like to come out and do the photography for because somebody like backed out. And I'm, again, you got to get up and go, right? Mm -hmm. You got to get up and go. So I came, I think I called out of work that day ahead of time because he told me about it. And then I just went straight over there. Mm -hmm. I was, it was in Brooklyn. You know, went right to Brooklyn Bridge. Or it wasn't in Brooklyn, but it was in Brooklyn Bridge. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and uh, oh, yeah, you know, hey, listen, all right? I'm not the best geography guy, I tell mm -hmm. you that much. Um, but that was a that was a start of like me taking my Canon and really like getting into high level uh, photography and content. Mm -hmm. So um, he started there, and what he does is shoot with a Sony now, and also dances with a Canon, interchangeable lenses. Yeah. And um, his photography is phenomenal. Damn. Mine's at times I know mine's phenomenal. I'm I'm very modest with my things. I'm I'm not always the most like uh, yeah I'm fire, bro. Like see my stuff. Like yeah, go. Yeah. I'm not that type of guy. It's one of those like I love doing this for the yeah. art. Yeah. And it comes out fire to some extent because that's what I do it for. Um, I'm good at like cloning things, removing things, clearing backgrounds, retouching. Yeah. I mean, it don't matter what it is. I do all of those, but he's more of a naturalist. That's mm -hmm. where like photography gets interesting. Yeah. Because what I can do, he can do in some senses just by taking the picture. Yeah. He's like that's that. fire. 
He's like that. Yeah. That's dope. That's that. We'll talk. Yo. Yeah. We'll Let's talk. Do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> you can find all those cameras, I believe. You probably get them on Amazon, right? Amazon, B and H, Adorama. You can rent. You could uh, exchange. You can trade in. You can uh, finance. You know, it's a couple. It's a couple ways to get this. Right, so that's for all you beginners out there that's going to look into getting into photography, videography, or even editing. You know, you could try out those cameras if you want. Find them at all those spaces and spots, Amazon, eBay, any one of those spots. There you go. We all want to know, are you a sneakerhead? No, I'm not a sneakerhead. I love sneakers though. I Says do. the person who has on elephant, desert elephant threes. See, now she knows that the pairs. Cool. That sounds she cool. She knows the pairs. That sounds cool. No, I love the color, though, but that sounds no. cool. I can, you know? Light, you know? Uh, I mean, also a blessing from, from Tuna, you know? It collects, again, he, he, I told him my favorite type of sneaker, my favorite sneaker I wanted. I was trying to either buy these Threes or... Threes are Tokyo. your favorite? This, this colorway. Oh, the colorway, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's like cream and stuff like that. Yeah. I love it. I seen it one time, and I'm like, bro, where do you even find these at? And he already had a pair. You know? Nice. Yeah. What? So we we um I did I did like six videos for him, mm -hmm. and um in the response for the videos and stuff like that, one of the things he gave me was sneakers. That is tuna. You the sweetest. It's gold, 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 <laughs> gold. Yeah. So I want you to get into you working at Nike, because I know I don't know if you was there, but I did a little um sneaker reselling and I had to stand outside Nike oh, let sometimes. Me tell you, let me tell you this one, dude. Hey. <laughs> All right, so look, Nike, you can't sue me for this. So I mean, it's, <laughs> I'm off contract. It's been too long. Sorry. Um, so I was at Nike Soho, yeah. right? Before they, the same one. Yeah, the same one. Yeah. Before they even had access, before you had Nike Town's new revision store, all that. It was just a, it was just billboards and people knew it was coming. Mm -hmm. And um, I got a call from Google and they, you know, yeah, I mentioned it last time, but I got a call from Google and, and going into the job, that's what we walked into. It was just, it wasn't built yet. Yeah. So a bunch of shipments come in and you know, the staircase is like, it's not that steep. It's not that bad. Yeah. I want to say it's like the spiral staircase. Uh -huh. Perfect for chains. Yeah. Perfect for chains. I told you I did there. <laughs> and um, we wasn't supposed to really be talking too much on the line, like as we're passing boxes that are coming in. This is like, you might have your Air Force Ones coming in. You yeah. might have some some phone pods coming in. And we're just, we're, again, some of us are resellers already there. I'm not a reseller. Working. Yeah, working. But again, we're, we're this is our first time. It started with 300 of us. Like the first week was 300 people that made it. Yeah. The second week it was like two nine two nine two forty. Wow. Six people got fired. Wow. The second week being there. Early. Early. And then after that, I became like 180. You know, like yeah, it was like it was really really scarce. And it was because at some point, you know, again, we wasn't supposed to be talking too much on the line. They wanted to be more accurate. They don't want the mistakes. Yeah. I'm on the line. I'm on the line. If you know, I'm sorry. If you guys have been around Malcolm, or you know, at some point, I'm I'm jokey. I like to have a good time. I like to make the most out of my time. Mm -hmm. So if we're on the line and we're passing boxes that of sneakers I can't even buy right now, but I'm like drooling over how fire these are, bro. I gotta sing songs. So I start, you know, <laughs> I'm singing, I'm singing songs. I'm going back to the roots. So yeah, listen, what is what it is. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm singing "Find Your Love" because I want to go home. So I'm like, you know, I better find your love, man. And we we singing songs and. You know, oh, just hold on. All that, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> we hope, going home. Hey, just hold on. Five hold hours, on now. Right? And um, it uh, it, it became, it felt more like family. Cause yeah. now it's like, you know, it's a retail environment that I actually enjoy. Mm -hmm. And it was, it just became like, uh, yo, I come into work, I'm with friends. Yeah. You know, if I meet people. Comfy, come, cozy. Yeah. I feel like everybody that came to the store, I'm like, yo, let's just talk to me, Yeah. Man. Like, I'm here already. I'm in Nike. Like, yeah. I get the discount. 40% as an employee is lovely. That is five, wonderful. Let me tell you something, Bestia. Five years in Nike straight, and you have a lifetime discount. No You always have way. your 40%. Five years? You can leave, go to New Hampshire with their Nike, and use your 40% lifetime to go, yeah. Off, That's off, good off, information off drops, to know. Off drops, too. And, um, Shout out to Nike. I will add this. Here's the sneakerhead swindle, okay? This is what Nike, like, they were aware of this. They don't care, obviously, uh -huh. but they're aware of this. There were people in Soho who would go there and they would pay homeless people. To stand on the line? Yeah. Homeless people to stand on the line 
and they'll pay them with food. Now, the homeless people don't know what the value these sneakers are going for. Yeah. Nor do they have any protection if they say, no, I'm just keeping a sneaker because these guys are big, strong, upset. They'll be the shot of you on the line. Mm -hmm. They'll be the shot of you. So they'll buy the food, right? This is during the Vapor Max re uh, release for um, LGBTQ uh -huh. when they had the rainbow bottom. Yeah. Yo, mm -hmm. so fire. And I mind you, you feel me? I, I know people with their own stance and stuff, but yeah. those were fire, yeah. okay? Crack rock fire. Shoot it up, all right? Shoot it up, <laughs> all right? And those went so fast. They 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 were homeless people that when they dropped, it was yeah. probably like six or seven homeless people that would come in rotation. Mm -hmm. And actually, like, and they're all for the same person. Mind you, that oh, all for, nah. this is where it's getting real. This is where Nike had to figure out how to like switch, like fix this. Yeah. So a dude from Nike Town used to come. Um, and he knew we had phone pods because at other Nikes you could check to see what sizes are available. Yeah. So he's like, yo, I'm gonna come pick these up. He comes and he buys 12 pairs of phone pods in our face. Eights, nines, tens, pretty much racked out the whole, the whole this stock. This is before this it is was be this a be certain Yeah, this before quantity. the limitation on buying it. Yeah. Before you couldn't go to certain stores buying it. Yeah. If you were suspended, you couldn't buy it. Nah, if you were suspended, you could still buy sneakers, put your discount, you know? And they were doing that. Wow. And those resales were crazy. So um, people were fighting. Yeah, it was regular. People were upset. Mm -hmm. Now, mind you, hearing that, right? Homeless people can go get swing dude and do this. You working behind the scenes. I'm working, okay? I'm working my behind off. I'm doing visual. I'm doing, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not type. I do multiple things now. I wear multiple hats. So I'm doing visualized uh, merchandising. I'm setting up the floor for clothes to be out. I'm, I'm stock uh, merchandising. I'm filling in the, the back right, the back of it to make sure we have stock to put out. And then I'm on the floor doing sales and doing other stuff. And it's like, bro, I found a pair of, these wasn't the um the silver bullets that we were talking about previously. These were Air Max 97 silver uh -huh. bullets with the translucent um line that mm -hmm. reflects light. And 12 and a half, I swear, those are the sneakers I wanted for so long, for so long. I gotta show you, I gotta show, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna be like, nah, I know Insert. This. Yeah, insert, silver bullets, uh. fire. And um, they told me no. I and you was an employee? I was an employee, told me no, yes. And those, those sneakers were sitting there for for like, I mean. Like, no, we're not selling them, no, or no, you can't buy no, them? They, they didn't even know they had them there. Like, the stock said zero, and I found that. And I said, bro, can I just, you feel me, can I? And they told me no, so they shipped it out. And then what? they got the Chinese New Year's coming. Right? Chinese New Year's for James Harden sneaker comes yeah. in. Yeah. And I'm hearing that the coaches, the managers, are using their discount to buy this sneaker. Wow. That's crazy. Other managers are also resellers too. So they're telling us we can't use discounts, so but they're using their discounts. They over there back dorm ran Yo. And so when I tell you Nike became like, it became real pretentious to even be in there because you kind of like. It was. I ain't going to lie. Like, who is? You knew some security. You that, could jump the line yo, easily. Sometimes security be the ones that tell you who's talking about you on the side. Like, yo, listen, yeah, that manager or that coach, you be careful with them, because he was, they, they watching you. Uh, you know, they watching you. I that's just crazy, that's four crazy. Four people could walk out in handcuffs that were employees. Mm -mm. Four of them, one of them walked, was walked out like the first four weeks we was there, what's the open? Bro, he, four weeks, just first month at the grand opening, and you're already out in handcuffs. For kicks? What, what year What year is this? 2018. And that's the opening for like five, six years now. Maybe, yeah, it's seven years, seven years. And um, yeah, the, 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 the sneaker game, this is why I'm not a sneakerhead, because I've seen it, I've seen people like lose themselves to this type of stuff. But and there's then, some people that's in it for the money. No, yeah, but th that's what I mean. When those things happen, yeah. and you see the totality of it, like it's not like they're saying, we're gonna limit this access for yeah. these people and give back to the community. They don't give a damn they about They're not the giving back to nobody. They, they double the and triple in the price. If you yeah. want it, come get it. I once, got yo, it. Yo, once Jordan, his concords became a life-threatening situation and Jordan didn't have the, the mental capacity or humanism to just be like, yeah, hey, bro, here's a million free pairs, bro. It's not that big. It's I'm Jordan. I'm you not you can't take this with you when you when you die. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, he's, and I was telling my friend of mine, but he's such a selfish individual. Yeah. I don't care if he's considered the great. I don't care about nothing. He's a little. I mean, LeBron, him as a person. LeBron opened schools. Um, LeBron opened schools. Mm. He paid for tuition. Talk about a shout out to you, LeBron. Sneakers. He takes price cuts. One LeBron of my is the most underpaid. LeBron is the most underpaid. Top tier athlete in the world. The Talk man about makes 23 it. million off his contracts every year. That you ain't heard nothing. It. He makes money off off the sales for his jerseys and what he gives back and yep. uses that to and, then and, 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 uh, employ people he 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 wants to do that with. And 
it's just giving back. Yeah. So, yeah. you know? Yeah. For everyone yeah. to know. Yeah. In other words, LeBron is the GOAT. LeBron's the GOAT. LeBron's the GOAT. You heard it first. I'm sorry, Don't y'all. attack me. You heard it first. Sorry, LeBron's y'all. the GOAT. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I don't care what you say. How, how old is he again LeBron right is now? Goat. LeBron is of 39. 39. 39. And you know what he's doing at 39? Killing the league of young players. Killing. 39. Yo, like, he's crazy. They showed, the, um, they showed a few uh, images of LeBron playing with um, um, the players that he played with mm-hmm. when he was young. Yeah. And now he's still playing with the players he played with kids. Yes, yes, that is crazy. And he's still averaging close to the that's same number. That's my guy. That's my guy. Yo, that is crazy. Yo, and it goes to show though, like if you consistently take care of yourself, you work hard at whatever your craft is, mm-hmm. you can't, you can't be stopped. Yeah. You know, even if it seems like you're taking a, a, a pay cut, yeah. yeah, bro, the money will always come when the quality is there. You just don't, you don't, don't sell yourself for it. That's the fact. Yeah. You know, don't sell yourself for it. All right, Face, you know how we do. This is the sleeper pickup segment. We talk about all the things that we picked up, want to pick up, that we see in the future, that we want to have or may not have, or whatever the case. Yes. All right, so do you have any sleeper pickups available? I, I do. As you saw earlier, what was on my feet? Some heat. Um, another pair, I don't know, in the other video, I had said I was going to get um, threes. You got in them? Midnight Navy. Yeah. Out. So you got them. All right, all right. Um, and I got some Nike initiators, which was which are those? They look like Vomeros. Oh, Vomeros. Wow, you just took it back. Those yeah, are yeah. 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 Those are in that. Like, listen. I, know, I believe they you. I believe you were. Recycling. Insert. They recycling, but I think those are the latest ones I got. All right. I didn't get to the clothes yet. I, I gotta, I gotta wait on the clothes. You gotta wait on the clothes. I gotta wait on the clothes. Slow That's gonna down. be a big hole right it's all, there. It's, right? All, it's all part of the plan. Yes. For <laughs> 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 me. Uh, Listen. All right, Malcolm. What was any sleepers that you have in mind that you see that you want to purchase, have an idea on purchasing, or that you already purchased? Um, I guess. Well, I do want a new camera. I want to get me an A7 III. It's a A7 III. Yeah, a Sony. It's just. It's one of those cameras that um, it's a full frame camera yeah. that still captures in 4K without the sensor being cropped. So okay. it's not gonna push the video back when you shoot in 4K. It's still where you want it to be at, and it's just it, the battery's long and it's it's, be- it's a beautiful camera. Yeah. And then as far as sneakers go, um, also wait, sorry, go back to the camera and the Insta360 camera. I also want to get another one of those. I have one I re- purchased recently, mm-hmm. but another one would mean that I have two 360 cameras in a sense to play around with, which means the world is like at my discretion. I can mm-hmm. do crazy stuff with that. So I want to get that as well. Um, as far as clothes go, some more made in bodega. I, there's a Malcolm X piece that he did as well. I yeah. need that, mm-hmm. yeah, all right? You guys, mm-hmm. I'm Cole Suiji, Insert. but Malcolm is also my name. So Listen. by any means, you get what I'm saying? That's the vibe. Yeah. And, um, the last thing that I wanted to grab, I still want to grab those Tokyo Biomes, man. I'm a, like, I'm a huge fan of like Air Max 97s. So that's my yeah. favorite yeah. sneaker all around. Like that sneaker is just, it's perfect for, for my feet. Uh-huh. I don't feel no pain. The no comfort arches. is there. Yo, and I can wear it with the bootleg. <laughs> yeah. And I go places, the light flash, and the, the sneaker flash, the three <laughs> M is boop, boop, boop. You know, like, yo, I feel like a celebrity sometimes. That's Gotta keep it chill though. Yeah. You know, I don't have, 50k nothing like that right you now yeah yeah I, you up there you up there nah, I'm up, nah, up there. i know but you know i, I still it's just not 50k you know yeah. do the, do 50K, yeah. walk in and go yo let him in yeah you feel me i can't let i can't let nobody in I, unless i work there already i gotta yeah. get you know 12k is nice but yeah <laughs> uh, and i did work at clubs too i did a few like for a short period of time i worked at some of the dream hospitality clubs like uh-huh. harbor blue midtown uh-huh. i worked at dl uh rooftop and um in Essex, and mm-hmm. I also wrote that, um, let's get the location, um, Bounce, but they closed it, and also Slate. Yeah. Okay. When we got hired, we went to Slate, remember? Yeah. You remember that, that was fine. No, I didn't. No, yeah, I'm sorry. No, 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 I'm no. sorry. No. Yeah, you, I wish you did. I wish you did. During orientation, they took it to Slate, and they had this, like, Slate is, like, the place where you have, like, the, um, in 23rd Street, they have, like, a upstairs and downstairs mm-hmm. full of, like, DJs and yeah. bars and stuff and games and pool tables. That's how they introduced us with Nike. So I said, Nike made you feel like... Nike. <laughs> who you gotta who cross you my you, you, better the, you better open the door for me. Mm-hmm. Talking about, I work at Nike. You work at Skechers. And then right. I, later on, I realized, like, I'd rather just get yeah. my Skechers sneakers. They're comfortable. All right, so Face, let everybody know where they can find you and know your handles and everything. Everything Face underscore Reed. You know how to find me. Follow me. 
<laughs> it's not a bot page. It's a real page. Yes, that it's really me. <laughs> it's a real page. Never too, never too cool to not right. say hello. All right, Malcolm, <laughs> let everybody know where they can find you, all your handles and everything. Got you. Okay, so on Instagram, I have two pages. The first page is my visual effects page. That is VFX Malcolm, M-A-L-C-O-L-M. Not M-A-L-C-O-M, please. Don't do that. All right, that kills me. Malcolm, I used to get bullied with that. It's crazy. Pause. And um, the other page is Real Art is Real. That's my photography page. Real Art is Real, and the abbreviation is rare. All right, I, you know, I, like I said earlier, I believe in that, you know, the best art mm -hmm. is, yeah. is organic, mm -hmm. you yeah. know? So Pretty when I take much. pictures of people, I want them to also identify themselves as a yeah. form of art, not just like a person. Yeah. Cute. That's fire. That's fire. <laughs> All right, everybody, you already know where to find me. Artist Stay Illin at the YouTube page. Make sure you check it out. Also, the Arts Museum on Instagram. Make sure you check that out. Once again, uh, tell your mother, your brother, your sister, whoever you need to tell about this channel and this show, you already know what about me. Also, one more thing. If you like the video. Like the video. You better share that video. Like <laughs> the video. You better share that. First off, do you, do you see the fit? The fit that this man has on. Mm -hmm. This might not be in the video. No, 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 no. Let this, let this go. <laughs> you got to listen. listen. The classical mm -hmm. level of this is crazy. Mm -hmm. Effortlessly. Crazy. And it's easy. All right. If you like the video or like the fits, you should still like the video anyway. Like it, share it, tag us. Tell us who you want them, you know, tell them who you want them to, 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 to check out next. If there's somebody you think should be here. Facts. Shout out, shout out to Malcolm. You already know. Shout out mm. to all the creators. Next time on the next video. See you guys on the next one. And we out. Peace. All right. Peace.